um, they were yeses, of course, and the the asking price that they asked it was below zero estimate, so I uh, it 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 is not like uh, overpriced at least. Um, but to be honest, the first uh, the first one I sent you the contact, so I tagged them as warm leads because to be honest, I I wasn't sure uh, they are not hot leads because to be a hot lead. I, I I have to make sure that um, that I know the reason why, right? The real reason. If it's just yeah, yeah, no, yeah, I that's awesome that you're you're picking up on that. Yeah, but by the way, is it okay if we record this? Yes, yes, don't worry. Okay, yeah, because I want to share it with the rest of the team, uh, so hopefully they can get some value out of this. But no. Um, uh, no, I mean it, it's awesome what what you're doing. I mean you're 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 conscious that to get a hot lead, yeah, we have to know their why, and that that's true. You know, we have to know their why. We have to know their pain. Yes, because, and I know um, I know that with more experience, I will get there. So I right now I was just picking on, um, uh, trying to pick up the system and and doing things. Uh, yeah. But when they said yes. So I, what I what I don't want to do is to to lose opportunities while I uh, I gain experience. So uh, when they said yes, okay, so can you please uh, tell me all the characteristics of the house? Uh, what are you asking for? But uh, uh, one person he was he wasn't rude and he told me I don't mean to be rude, but I want to talk to the person who uh, who can make an offer. So what I told him is. Yes, but we need this uh, data. We need the characteristics so we can have a clear picture of uh, of what is in front of us. And then, even then, uh, you you still have to uh, you will get a call, and still maybe have an kind kind of an appraiser. So I yeah I, it's, I, yeah, yeah. It, it's 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 called an inspection. So um. So yeah, make it easy on yourself. It's it's an inspection. So the goal is to schedule an inspection, right? Because that's what it is. We're inspecting the house to see what we can offer, right? Yes. So so that's one. And also, um, uh, use the word details because that's what we want. We want the details of the house versus the characteristics. Okay. The characteristics sounds too professional. Okay. And we want to come across as lay back people having a conversation with another person you know we're just having yeah. a conversation and uh we want to use layman terms as, as many layman terms as possible we we, we i know you want to come across professional but here um, yeah no i i that's what jackie told me that uh people yeah they don't want to get in trouble they are not let's not say lazy but they don't want problems like they just want it to be easy and in the second case that's what i uh i just got a nice feeling that that person was uh very kind very nice to me he he told me like okay uh, i told him hey can you tell me this yes can you tell me this yes can you tell me this okay perfect is there uh, is there a reason that you want to move yes i want to go uh, to go to the city limits. Okay, perfect. But in that case, when uh, everything went smooth, uh, but I, I just couldn't find a way to find the why, uh, the 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 real yeah, why. Yeah, yeah, that's right? fine. So let's so right, right. So so let's role play because the way you find the why is by picking up on all the information they're sharing with you. Mm -hmm. You make comments on that information and you go negative on them. Okay, Bye. but what? I, uh huh. Uh huh. But in uh, and that is something that I'm not quite sure, because since we are just prospecting, I think that we are not here to uh, to close deals, to make deals. Uh, but um, so correct. Not, not right now, but but I um, but you yeah, still maybe. want to find the why, even if it's going to be at a surface level, surface okay. level why. Uh, not not to go deep, but to answer your question, because you you said that you you didn't know how to basically how to extract the why. Yes. And the way you extract the why is through the conversation. So 
So, so let's role play, for example, uh, the conversation you had yesterday. Um, so, okay, so I'm the seller. So I'm telling you, I want to move to the city limits. That's why I'm looking to sell, right? I want to yeah. move to a city limits. And, and um, uh, so let's just, let's just stop there based on city limits, right? So remember, we're just having a conversation, right? So yeah. I would tell the seller, well, Mr. Seller, what's wrong with the inner city? You don't like the noise or what's going on? You know, oh, so I'm okay. being funny, but I'm being curious at the same time. See, yeah. now I'm digging deeper into the why you want to move away from the city limits. I'm being a little nosy, but I'm being, but the, the reason that it's accepted is because I'm being a little funny. I'm not being nosy. Yeah. You know? But it, the, the way you say it matters, you know, hey, Mr. Seller, wait, is it, is it too loud for you in the city or what? what's going on? You know, so I'm being a little funny, but at the same time, I'm I'm curious what what's going on with the city? Why why go to, to the city limits? Is there, you know, do you just want more space or is there something else going on? And see how I'm digging deeper into the why. And and whatever he shares with me after that, let's say he says, Oh no, nothing wrong with the city. I I you know, I, I've always wanted to live on an acre or two, and I think only outside the city limits I can have this type of lifestyle. No, yeah, you're right. You, you know, you would have to go out to a similar city limits for, for uh, that type of lifestyle. Uh, but let, let me ask you, Mr. Seller, if if you can find something outside the city limits, um, what are you gonna do? Are you just gonna stay here, or are you gonna keep looking? Or I'm just curious, you know, about your situation. And you see how you're digging deeper into the why? Yes, yes. Uh, uh, I and all you're doing is using their material, and you're making comments, and you're wanting to learn more about them and people like that people like when you are genuinely interested in their life is their life right so so here's julio wanting to know why i'm moving out of course he's gonna want to share with you you know it's his life yeah julio look the reason i want to go out here is because this this and this i mean he thinks this is the most important story of the world him moving outside moving outside the city limits so he'll share with you very willingly all the details you want to know about that um, so, so that's how you do it. You just pick up on the, I call it material, but, uh, pick up on the, the information they give you and expand on it, make comments on it, wonder about it, become curious, become dummy, you know, dummy up is a very powerful one. You know, I, Mr. Seller, I don't get it. You know, you, your, your house is located in a, in a beautiful location and you can just look at the, 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 the map, right? Let's say. Yeah. You, on the map, you see the intersection of um, Marbach and I-10, right? The freeway I-10 and Marbach. And and this is a general question that he's not going to disagree with. Hey, Mr. Sir, you're right in the center of the city. I uh, By the freeway I-10 and Marbach, I mean, it's a beautiful location, right? All locations are beautiful, right? He, he's not going to say, no, it's a horrible location. Right? It's a beautiful location. I don't understand why you would want to move away from there is it's close to shopping, close to malls, close to the highway. You know, um, help me understand. See how I'm being dummy? Help me understand. I don't I don't get it. What's wrong with this location? It's it seems fine to me. So mm. so that's how you do you dummy up, you you wonder, you you don't assume. You know, don't assume that you know because we don't know. Yes, and um, I, I I didn't know. So I, I... Right. When he right. told so me the risk, just... I just went to my, okay, thank you very much. Uh, that, that is nice. So when I got all the details, when I got everything, I just uh, I just didn't know how to like to expand the conversation or I didn't I didn't mean to be kind of nosy because yeah, uh, you, 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 you want to be nosy in a way that's not nosy. It's more yeah. like like, like Julio A. That, yeah, interested, curious, like, hey, Julio, that's that's an interesting background color. You know, it kind of matches your shirt. You know, um, mm -hmm. I, I guess you like blue, right? Yes. <laughs> you know, see how I'm being nosy, but not really. Like, I'm just wondering, you know, the, the background color it matches your shirt. And yes. I made that comment, but I'm being nosy, but I'm, I'm not. It's, it's how you say it versus, hey, Julio, why did you paint your wall that blue. color? And you're like, well, what the heck do you, you care? Paint? You know, that's my business. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Right, but but see, by 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 saying it in a way that you're curious, you accept it, right? You're like, oh, yo, yeah, thanks, yeah, I, 
you know, I did whatever, you know. So you're more likely to share because you hear how I'm coming from. Uh, I'm coming from a place of curiosity, not so nosy. Okay. You know, I'm just curious. Hey, nice color, man. Much as you sure, you know, what's going on with that? You know, uh, so so you, and you, that's why you want to have fun on the phone. You want to be you. You want to be comfortable. Now, I'm comfortable being funny. And, and you don't have to be funny, but you should definitely aim to be comfortable. You know, like yeah. what you're sharing with me right now. That's excellent. Thank you. I want you to do that because that's going to help you now that you learn how to handle it. That's going to help you get more comfortable on the phone. And at the end of the day, you just want to have conversations with people. You know, you just want to talk to them. And remember, we're deal finders, not deal makers. So you should not have any uncomfort going on within you. You're just asking questions. You're just gathering information. You're just being curious. You know, that's you, you shouldn't work hard, in other words. You're just having a conversation. The ones that are going to work hard are the sellers, right? Yes, because and that gonna... is, yeah, that's when, then that's what I was telling you, because to be honest, uh, I tag this as a warm lead because yes, it's a yes. I just don't know how real the yes is. When I am sure right. that this yes is because he is opening up with uh, me telling me uh, like the real reason, no, I just have to move because I have an emergency. Okay, then I know it's a it's a hot lead, right? There right. will be uh, circumstances, uh, I hope, <laughs> in which I know, uh, and I and I will be sure that it's a hot lead. But right now, right. I just no, didn't. And, and, I just didn't and, know. And I um, no, and this is great that you you wanted to get good leads because at the end of the day, I mean the more good leads you put out the more likely we are to do a deal and the more likely you are to get a bonus because i don't know if you knew that you guys get bonus when we actually do deals no you didn't tell us oh no oh, okay. no. <laughs> I, I, oh now you guys are watching the recording yes so so you get a bonus. i mean it makes sense i mean you're doing your job you're you're yeah. sending out good leads you know we're we're converting these leads into inspections from the inspections we make offers Yes. And from the offers, we we get we get the deals, right? So, so yeah, yeah you, it doesn't you do matter if we call twenty hours and we just uh, sometimes it's kind of luck, but it's uh, it's also how you how you handle the situation, right? And if you right. if you happen to be l lucky enough and you happen to be prepared and willing to have that conversation, I think that when you can find the opportunity, and I really try to find the opportunity, just not right now. Now the very second day, so I just didn't know if it was like uh, I I just wanted to, to ask you to be honest. I as I yeah. told you, I don't want to lose opportunities because to be honest, you have to make make like a hundred calls in order to get like a five. No, I don't want to sell and one that okay. Can you okay? Maybe if you have an offer, okay, let me find about the situation or some yes. And I don't have a real estate. And I don't want that complications uh, of doing all the uh, stuff, complicated stuff. Okay, so that's when I think that I I, I can have a conversation, and I will. I I, right, I think right. in the future I will be prepared. But uh, right, and, and right that's, now that's the reason why we we um we want to transition you guys uh, eventually into working with Lee Sharp as well, because. I mean, I, I've done it. I know that it's, it's kind of boring to just wait for a human being to talk to. We're just dropping messages, you know, wrong yeah. number. And then we, you finally get a voice. Hey, oh, well, hey, John. Hey, how you doing? Hey, you, you know, you own the property, one, two, three Main Street. Yeah, well, what about it? Hey, you interested in a cash offer this time or have you considered selling it? Or I don't know how you open, but have you considered selling the house? And, or however you open, whether you say, have you considered selling? Would you like an offer? Whatever the case is, if somebody does not want to sell, it doesn't matter if you have the best opening. They don't yes. want to sell. Right? Yes. But yes. if somebody who's mildly interested, basically anything other than a no is maybe, right? Ah, well, basically anything other than a no, they're basically asking for more information. Ah, what do you offer? What are you thinking? Maybe tell me more. They're basically, that's more information, right? And that's when, boom, that's when we step in and but say, that's okay, what, excellent. Yes, that's what we filter to you, right? 
So I think right. that it's just uh, taking all the. Uh, right. And and and, and um, it is. I mean, we're gonna we're gonna get better data, um, so that you don't get as many um, uh, wrong mails, phone numbers. Because I think it's like the third lap. Because uh, what uh, in the calls from today, I saw like two messages from you, like reach voicemail, reach voicemail. Uh, so so I had a lot. So I think it's uh, we just went around uh, enough <laughs> in those leads. Uh, but uh, if yeah. they don't, if they never answer, I think that we don't know, right? Not right. Not yeah, even, we don't know, but. But the, but the uh, what I want you to take out of this call is keep the big picture in mind, and the big picture, because for for you to have a sustainable for this to last a long time, as long as you you want to keep doing this, and you know that the more once you guys get Sherpa, then you're gonna get a raise. Uh, once we get deals, you get bonus. I mean, the, you know, once you get it, you know, we're, we're gonna try to take care of you as much as we can, so you stay with us. Um, but for that to happen, for you to have a sustainable uh, job with us, you want to have fun. You want this to be a comfortable, enjoyable experience in the four hours that you're doing it. So that's the big picture. Hmm. How can I make this the next four hours as pleasurable as possible? And then you got to be honest with yourself. I appreciate you being honest with me here as to what's going on and see where what questions, what situations are leading you to feel anxious, fearful, doubtful, you know, all those negative emotions, right? And take note of that. Hmm. You know, I feel anxious when I couldn't answer this guy this. I feel fearful when they made this comment. I felt uncomfortable when they said this, you know, and let's keep a note of that and let's work through that because at the end of the day, you don't want to have any of these emotions. You just want to have a relaxed, comfortable conversation with people now people are people that that's them you know they're going to get all wild up because you call them they're going to get uncomfortable because well yeah, no i'm not selling how dare you call me do, do i or, or they're gonna get sarcastic with you do you see a for sale sign in front my front yard or, or you know but that's them you know you yeah. let them experience whatever but you don't want to experience uh any of these negative turmoils uh as a result of talking to them so so that's the big picture. That's the goal is to, to get you to a place where you're comfortably just getting on the phone, having a conversations with these people. And, and the more pleasant, the, the, the more pleasant the conversation, if you're having a good time, they're having a good time. Yeah. If you feel comfortable, yeah. they feel comfortable, you know? And, uh, Hey, Julio, it's been a pleasure talking to you, man. Yeah. I, I'm glad you called me actually. And, Hopefully you can help me with uh, my, my my property here. Well, hey, well, that's what we're gonna schedule an inspection, go out there and see if we can do something for you. I'm sure we can. Uh, and if we can, hey, it's been a pleasure talking to you. You know, and to under, can you hear me? Hey, you under. Wonder. Wonder, you there? Hey, you wonder. Still there? <laughs> 